Come join us on a trip through Lofoten, Vesterolen, and Senja. We will show you the most beautiful places that you can visit in this amazing archipelago. These islands are located in the northern part of Norway and they have some of the most stunning and dramatic view of this country. So keep watching and enjoy the video! We first started our journey by taking the ferry from the city of Bodu. There are frequent and regular ferry services that can take you to Lofoten. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ferry ride. But when the ferry is approaching Lofoten, make sure to stay on the upper deck outside and enjoy the beautiful view. Alright, time to leave the ferry. The first impression really didn't disappoint. The landscape is just beautiful, magical, surreal. It's awesome. Naturally, our first stop is the town of Reine. It's a really beautiful typical Norwegian fishing village with charming wooden houses and amazing landscape. You can just go for a relaxing walk around the village. You can also go for a boat ride if you feel like it or if you have a pocket deep enough for that. And they use this kind of wooden construction to hang fish to air dry. They usually do that in the colder months and the main fish used are cod and clip fish. And the dried fish is exported all around the world. The town of Reine is truly the most beautiful in the whole of Lofoten and be sure not to miss it. While you're in Rhine, you have to do the Rhine Bringen Trail because it offers one of the most beautiful view of Norway. You do have to climb a lot of stairs, but the view is completely worth it. The next stop is to climb to the top of Mount Ritten. The surrounding view is just amazing. And while you're in Ritten, we'd recommend you to try wild camping in the Kvalvika beach below so that you can enjoy wonderful sunset like this. Next stop is the fishing town of Henningsware. The harbor is very picturesque, look at it. And the water is so clean and clear, you can see a lot of fish swimming around. This town is definitely worth a visit when you're in Lofoten. This is another amazing beach called Trurvik. The water is still very shallow, even over 100 meters away from the beach. And the best part is, you can even do wild camping here. Now, it's time for another hike from the city of Svolver. You can hike to Jevelporten and dance on a rock stuck in between two cliffs. The road leading to our next destination, Nixon in Vesterolen, is not in a very good condition. But that shouldn't stop you from getting into this pretty village. This fishing village was actually already abandoned many years ago, but it was revived in recent years thanks to the increase in tourism. So now you can enjoy this village and you can even stay in one of those charming wooden houses there. While in Nixon, you can hike the trail of Droning Ruta or the Queen's Route. The trail got its name because the Queen of Norway once walked through this trail and she actually fell in love so much with this trail that it became quite famous. We drove further to the island of Andoya. This island is actually one of the best places in the world to do whale watching, but the weather was really bad so we couldn't do it. Instead, we just tried to spot some whales from the shore, but of course, we failed. Despite the bad weather, we still managed to do a hike to Motim. If there was one hike that you should do in the island of Andoya, this is it. 
From the top, you can enjoy a beautiful view over the island. Moving on to the last island, Senya. The island of Senya is not as famous as the islands of Lofoten or Vesterolen, but the landscape is just amazing, breathtaking, beautiful. We had a really stormy weather during our stay in Senya, but that still didn't stop us from exploring the island. The most famous trail in the island of Senya is the hike to Segla. Segla actually means sail, and the mountain face rises vertically from the sea like the sail of a boat. And the view from the top is very dramatic, absolutely stunning. And those were the amazing places that we visited during our trip through Lofoten, Festerolen, and Senya. Truly one of the most beautiful regions not only in Norway, but also in the whole world. Anyway, thanks for watching and of course, don't forget to subscribe!